Welcome to our community video series, Ace the Data Interview. Over the next few weeks, we're gonna be going into all aspects of the data science interview so that when the big day comes, you will be prepared for anything that comes your way. You'll be able to stand out and get the job of your dreams. In today's video, we'll be diving into one of the most important tasks to complete before your interview, which is researching the company. Researching companies is super important and beneficial to help you ace the interview. Getting a better feel and understanding of the company is a great way to help you feel more prepared and also appear more confident when answering your questions because you'll be more aware of what the company is looking for. Showing the interview panel that you are familiar with the company and enthusiastic about what you do shows that you actually care about the job and that you took the time to prepare. Let's not forget that doing a deep dive into the company, finding out about their company culture, who you might be working with, everything like that, is a great way to see if the job and the company is a right fit for you. Never forget that an interview is equally about seeing if the company is the right fit for you as much as it is seeing if you're a right fit for the company. It's extremely important that you choose companies and data roles that excite you and align with your values. If you don't, it could end up in you not enjoying your job or even leaving the company early. So now that we know why researching this company is important, let's talk about how to do this successfully. Step one, research the company's website. Go to the company's website to see what sort of products or services that they offer. How do they make their money? What sort of clients do they look for? And who's their target audience? Do your best to learn about the company culture as well by visiting the About Us and Meet the Team pages to get a better feel for their tone, how they present themselves, and what kind of people work there. Another really good source of information is to look at the company's strategic plan or its public roadmap to see the state of the business, but also what they have planned for the near future. For data roles especially, check to see if the company has an engineering blog or a GitHub. This is a really great way to see what tech stacks that they're working with, what they're working on, and what their goals are for the company. If the company has a mission statement posted on their website, be sure to read it extremely carefully. Reading the mission statement will help you understand what what the company cares about and what it's building towards, and it will also help you tailor your answers during the interview. Step two is check their social media. Most companies today have at least one social media page, so check out their LinkedIn, their Facebook, their Twitter, their Instagram, or even their TikTok. It'll give you a lot more information about what they're doing, what the company is like, and also who their target audience is. For example, on LinkedIn, you'll be able to find the list of company employees as well as the clients they work for to get a better idea of trends and working histories. But on platforms like Instagram and TikTok, you'll get a lot less of a formal vibe and get a better idea of the company culture. Mentioning that you've seen their socials and their latest news updates shows great initiatives and can really impress an interview panel. Being familiar with their latest posts can even give you more ideas for questions during the interview based on very specific things that stood out to you. It's even possible that some employees have their own social media pages or have given talks or been guest speakers on podcasts. Check out the Data Camp podcast Data Framed, which is full of talks with industry experts. We may even have an episode with someone from the company that you're interviewing at. Also, if you know who your interviewers are going to be, check them out on LinkedIn to get a better feel of who you're going to be meeting with. You can use all of this information to connect with them, see what data tools, technologies, or trends that they're most interested in, and really gear that interview to making a lasting impact. It also really shows how proactive you are. Step three is Google, Google, Google. Staying up to date on the company's latest developments or on the latest trends in the industry that it's in will not only give you a leg up, but it's also a really good conversation starter. Check both Google and Google News to see if there's any information that may not have popped up during your search of the company's website or on its social medias. For example, has the data team at the company presented at any conferences or meetups. A lot of these abstracts and recordings can be found online and it gives you a better idea of what they find important to them and how they present and work with their data. Finding out recent news or projects from the company is a great way to stand out during the interview. They'll be really impressed that you're up to date with their latest developments. Most job seekers will ask very standard questions that can be answered by looking at the company's website. So asking a question based off of a recent development will really set you apart. And here at Datacamp, 
We're all about making sure you stand apart from the rest of the crowd. Which brings me to step four researching the competition. Carrying out competitor research can really get you up to speed with the latest trends in the industry. That way you'll have a much better understanding of this company's niche, how it's set apart from its competitors, and how it can compete. Doing this shows that you can see the bigger picture and have the drive to understand the industry as a whole and not just the one company that you're interviewing at. This is a great trick to really stand out to a hiring manager. It's also really great for you, especially if it's in an industry that maybe you're not so familiar with yet. And finally, step five is to read employee and company reviews. Check out sites like Glassdoor and Crunchbase to read reviews from previous employees and to get statistics on the company. These reviews can really give you insight into how the company operates, how they treat their employees, what the working culture is like, and it's a really good way to see if it's going to be a really good fit for you. Also, reading reviews from real employees is a great way to spot any red flags that you may want to bring up during the interview. And there you have it. Those are my top five tips on how to research the company in preparation for your next interview. One more time for the people in the back, it is check out the company website, look at their social medias, Google them, check out their competition, and read employee and company reviews. Make sure you incorporate your research into your interview answers as well as into the questions that you ask them. Now that you know how to research a company before an interview, you'll be able to make better decisions and choose which companies to work at as well as leave a lasting impression on hiring managers and recruiters to turn more interviews into job offers. If you have any questions or other tips on researching the companies before an interview, make sure to put them down in the comments below so we can all share tips and help each other out to succeed. Make sure to tune in next week so you don't miss out on the next video in the series all about acing the interview.